All right, people, you asked for it. <laughs> you asked for it. This is Megan Fox, by the way, and here we go again. You asked for all the scenes from this series so far that happen in a toilet, in the bathroom, or things that should be kept in the bathroom, or awkward scenes filmed in a bathroom, everything around these scenes that we should just everything about this show should be flushed down a toilet so maybe the writers are trying to tell us that maybe they know how shitty the show is and to illustrate that they have put so much bathroom humor non-humor that we're not laughing at into it as like an f you to the viewer um just laughing at us about how bad this show is because that is how it seems so let's get started First, you will recall the very first time that we see these characters in a bathroom would be when Miranda has to use the bathroom and she says she's 55 and can't wait to pee. So they go into the men's room together. So that's the first time we're in a bathroom. And then, of course, oh, big. Yeah, big dies in the bathroom. So <laughs> that was a terrible scene. Talk about a flushable scene. Uh, we've got big dying and still awake and Carrie just standing there like a lunatic, not calling 911, just not calling, just letting him die. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Total garbage. <laughs> Flush it. Then we've got this one, Natasha. Carrie has stalked her into a public restroom and then opened the door on her and she's on the toilet. <sighs> I hate this so much. I hate it so much. Just unnecessary totally unnecessary potty humor okay then we've got miranda opening up oh i've also included things that just gross me out like just total gross outs that things that are like potty humor that would be miranda opening up the amazon package that was meant for her son that includes astro glide for him and his ridiculous girlfriend that she's allowing to bang in her house like like that's normal or something yep mm -hmm. also gross out shouldn't have been in this oh and it was also a uh <laughs> A nice moment to sell Astroglide product placement. Then we've got Carrie on the toilet, yet again, another toilet scene with Charlotte after her surgery, and we have to watch her pee. I mean, it's inexplicable. I don't know why they think we want to watch this. Then we go straight to Che, who is now telling Miranda about her diverticulitis. Yep, diverticulitis. Uh, which causes all kinds of um, digestive and elimination problems. We have to hear about that. More Samantha Irby's experience because she has diarrhea problems. So we, we had to put that in the show. And then we all had to hear about it. Yep. And how could we forget Carrie peeing in a Snapple bottle because Miranda was you-know-what with you-know-who in the kitchen? And then she goes and she dumps that Snapple bottle full of pee on the bed. So if it wasn't bad enough that we had to watch her peeing in the Snapple bottle, now she's dumping the pee on the bed because she can't get back in and has no help. Mm -hmm. That We had to watch that. Oh, God. I can't. <laughs> I can't even. So I included this, not because it's, in, it's not in a bathroom or anything, but it's one of those ultra gross out scenes that should have been flushed down a toilet, which is Miranda doing you know what while screaming at her son from behind the door. Then, of course, we have the, uh, the notorious throwing up date, which should have happened in a bathroom. Normal people throw up in toilets, not on dates and on each other's shoes like this gross out scene. Next, of course, the infamous scene with Charlotte and Harry in the bathroom. Oh, and by the way, I couldn't find Harry in the bathroom. I don't know what episode it was where he was talking about his prostate, but uh, I'm, I didn't get a screenshot of it. But you remember that. So Harry has now been in the bathroom twice, once with the prostate peeing thing, and he's peeing on camera. And then now with the, the blowjob incident where the kid walks in, and this is another inappropriate kid scene where kids are thrown into awkward situations by Michael Patrick King uh, for no reason at all, except just to gross out the audience. And then, of course, this week we had Charlotte talking about menopause and her period. So we had to hear about periods. And then, oh, remember when Charlotte was shouting on the street and in cafes about Carrie's, uh, Harry's, not Carrie's, Harry's colonoscopy? Yeah, that was brilliant and riveting writing. <sighs> Sigh. 
Oh, here she is in the cafe. Remember, look at the guy next to her is looking at her because she was shouting about a colonoscopy. What is the deal? And of course, then we have the tampon scene in the bathroom with Charlotte. Then Charlotte bleeding all over herself. We've got that gross out scene. Things that should have happened in a bathroom but didn't. And now Lily in a porta potty. Another toilet scene. I, it, the toilet scenes in this are just inexplicable. Too many toilets, too many bathrooms. Lily on the toilet, which I absolutely hate. I mean, it's just, this show is awash in flushable moments. If I've missed any, which I very well could have, because <laughs> they have put so much toilet humor, and which is not funny, they've put so much of that in this show that I'm sure I actually did miss some, but I thought I would give you a quick rundown of all the different toilet scenes that we've had to sit through on this god-awful, horrible, terrible, no-good show. Don't forget to tune in tonight at 9, 8, 9 p.m. Mikey Harlow and I are going to be doing an episode of the podcast that I like to call We're Here, One of Us is Queer, and We Are Sick of This Shit. Literally, flush it. Later.